Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chueras, and today we are ranking our favorite Pokemon in card format artworks. It's an interesting video series. We call this Tasteful Tuesday. Let me give you some updates on the weight progress, weight loss progress. We're still another 0.2 pounds down. We're still making it back to where we uh, are trying to get a groove here, and I, I'm starting to feel the groove, so hopefully... We will close the month out here in the next two weeks on a very positive note. But for now, we're going to talk about my... It's either my first or second. From time to time, it ro rotates. It's either Magikarp or Venusaur. You guys have seen me with a Venusaur hat before. I don't know where it's at or if I put it on right now. But Venusaur is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. He is the final stage evolution of Bulbasaur from Gen 1, which is the first Pokemon I ever chose when I played the game so it had an emotional attachment but it also had an attachment as in i love his design is just so beautiful and so cute so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the ones that didn't make the cut of my final three but i it's honorable mention final four type of thing here so uh let's go ahead and take a look at these artworks and i'm gonna have to move my face as you can see i'm covering base set one venusaur uh, we'll put myself down here, and base that one Venusaur definitely deserves an honorable mention. It's nostalgic. I love that card a lot. The winners, it's a dark Venusaur. This, I believe, would have been released in the Team Rocket series of Pokemon cards. Instead, it was given out to tournament winners back in the day during league play. I do own one of these winner cards. I know that there were also there's also two other alternatives. One's a Jumbo, which I own as well. As a matter of fact, I think I have it on me. Uh, it's not very... It's kind of accessible, but I don't know if I want to go through all that right now. Uh, there's also the Expedition Holographic Venusaur. And also the Pokemon the Trading Card Game Promo Venusaur, which is, all, which is the original Holographic Venusaur, I believe, in the Japanese set. So... These are all the ones I figured had some sort of value, but I love, uh, not values. When I say value in this series, we're not looking at card valuations. We're not looking at prices. We're not looking at any of that stuff. We're looking at what the best artwork is. And I think these are honorable mentions. Unfortunately, they didn't make the top three, but I, I have to include them in here. I have to include them. So let's go ahead and take a look at what number, and this is going to be a tough one. I don't know what I want to rank where, um, but this is the Venusaur EX. This card came out during the Generations era. It came out in a special four pack with a figure, which is somewhere behind me. I have this card as well, and I love this card. This is like an all art card of today. There's a Vileplume and a Scyther in this card, and they're just flying with the grass Pokemon. Uh, there's also a Charizard, Blastoise, and Pikachu. I own the Charizard. I don't think I own the Pikachu or Blastoise, but this card, phenomenal. Beautiful artwork. Promo card, probably one of the better promo cards in total, like of all promo cards of all time, these generations ones were it. Like I do mean it. When I say they they're it, I mean they were it. All right, the next one is also a promo card as well. This is an all art style Celebi and Venusaur GX card from Team Up. It's not from the Team Up set, but these cards came up. Uh, I mean, Venusaur Celebi came up in the Team Up series. The, the, this is a, a phenomenally beautiful card. I own this one as well. We opened a tin. It was supposed to be for the channel, but we never opened open it. If you guys want to see more team up, watch next week's uh, video on Thursday. We'll be ranking the uh, team up set. Hopefully we pull a Celebi Venusaur. That would be amazing. Or the other Venusaur card that there is in the set. There's two different tag team Venusaur cards. So what's number one? What could I rank as my favorite number one Venusaur card of all time? It's kind of weird and crazy. So I own all the cards we just discussed. The one card I do not own is the one card that we're ranking number one. I need to get this card. I, I, it's, it's severely underrated. Uh, and it came out in the Leaf Green Fire Red series. It's the Venusaur EX card. I believe this is the only Venusaur small EX, by the way. this is That means this is a basic Pokemon. So you can just put this immediately into play. But this card 
beautiful. I don't know, like, it's unique. It's different. And I am not talking about the EX pattern. I'm talking about this artwork is just crazy. Like, the holographic, like, the way the shine comes in on the hollow on the top left, like he's about to do the solar beam or something's going on there. It's just a beautiful card. This is a great artwork. Um, I don't know... Of, of these three cards that I put at the top, I don't know what I can rank as, you know, the best or the worst, like, of the three. Like, I feel like this is my number one, but I, it, it's it's hard to rank it number one with the other cards that we just talked about. So, uh, that, that, it, that, this was a tough one for me. This was a tough one for me. And for packs that we're going to open up that include Venusaur in the set, we do have the Celebration set. Uh, this is a... Dark Sylveon box. We're going to open up four packs of Celebrations. Celebrations was so much fun. I, For those that watched my streams, potentially have some YouTube content out there during this era of my streaming journey, YouTube content creation journey, we opened a lot of Celebrations. We were chasing the Venusaur. It took us a little bit to get it, uh, but we did end up getting it. And I'm going to show you guys uh, some childhood cards here. Uh, we do have some childhood Venusaur cards. I'd like to pull them out just so you guys can see them. I don't have all the Venusaurs that I discussed that we do have uh, on me right now. But I have a couple of them that we can take a look at real quick. I have the Game Boy promo one for sure. I'm looking at it right now. And I also have the my original OG. I have a couple of OG base at one ones. Uh, but we're only going to look at one right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Give me un momento here while I switch the camera for card card viewing. And let's go ahead and change this here. And boom, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, I love, this card brings back so many good memories for me. Uh, and all the ones that I own. I own four base at one Venusaurs and maybe two base at two Venusaurs. And then obviously the beautiful promo that came with the Game Boy game. It was the Pokemon the Trading Card game. On Game Boy. This is an OG card. This one is actually in rough condition. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This this is an OG card of mine, though. I'm Obviously, this is, you know... My Venusaur, I think, is in good shape. I don't think I ever played this card. There's a little... There's a binder indentation thing there. It's not a bend. It's like a binder. Like, the ring of the binder hit it at some point when I was young. So, it stinks, but, you know... It is what it is. I have some better condition Venusaurs, but that's like my OG one. So I got to keep that one in the, you know, top tier spot. All right, let's go ahead and open up some celebrations. I love celebrations. This is one of my favorite sets uh, in the Sword and Shield era for sure. I know we, you know, we ranked these sets uh, not that long ago, like uh, four months ago or something like that. Uh, celebrations was so much fun. This was such a good time of opening Pokemon cards and... I don't know how many times we've opened this Dark Sylveon box, but uh, it's it, it, we've opened it a good amount of times. All right, let's go ahead and get this party started. Beautiful promos. Sylveon's not the uh, topic here, though. Although, talking about really cool Dark Pokemon. They should bring Dark Pokemon back. I'm not going to lie. That'd be a, a fun thing. All right, we got four celebrations. We also do have, and we'll go ahead and open them up. We have an Evolving Skies and a... Fusion Strike. So we're going to start off, actually, with Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies. So we'll do Fusion Strike first, then we'll go to Evolving Skies, and then we'll go to the Celebration, since the Venusaur could potentially be pulled in that set. Let's go ahead and see what we get here uh, in our Fusion Strike. But yeah, I mean, I I, oh, I have uh, so many fantastic memories of Venusaur pulls. I'm not going to lie. Um, we got a lot to ask there. Uh, Venusaur is just... One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Like, it, it, it was, you know, Magikarp was one of my favorites as well. It's, it's Magikarp and Venusaur. Magikarp, you know, was easy to pull, though. You know, like, I, I had plenty of Magikarps. I, I wish I knew where they were at these days, but I had a good amount of them back in the day. I don't have them anymore because I don't know where they all went. I do have a couple of base at one Magikarps, but I don't have all of them. All right. Pikachu Reverse and uh, Hydrogen. Holographic. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and pull the four packs of Celebrations. Let's go ahead and see what we pull out of here. Celebrations. Great set. Palkia. Reshiram. Solgaleo. The pull rates on this set were... I think this is what 
kind of changed the game for Pokemon. As far as the pull rates, like when they decided to start increasing the pull rates. This set had a lot to do with it. We got a Mewtwo EX at a professor's research. There we go. There we go. We, we, we got something good. We got something good. I, I had a lot of fun with this set, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I had uh, a good time. It was a fantastic time. All right, let's keep going. Reshiram. And a Flying Pikachu V. That's actually a playable card. Very playable card right now. Um, I, I've seen people utilize that and the uh, VMAX version of Flying Pikachu. So pretty nice. Nice card to get. All right, we got one more pack, ladies and gentlemen. Last pack, Magic, potentially. Dialga. A Garchomp X. Level X Garchomp. And another Professor's Research. Not bad. Not bad. We actually got two pulls out of this. We got two good pulls out of uh, just a, you know, little basic four-pack of celebrations. Not exactly getting a Venusaur, which would have been kind of cool. But um, definitely some of my more favorite Pokemon uh, from the generation to come. And also from, obviously, Gen 1. But Garchomp is definitely one of my favorites. And we'll, we'll do eventually we'll do a Garchomp as well at some point. We'll have a Garchomp. We have to have, we have, to have a Garchomp. Uh, but we're, I want to kind of go down the list of my favorite Pokemon on these because I think it'd be a lot of fun to go down that list. We have, there's so many. Uh, next week, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this yet. I'm still kind of making a determination. Venusaur, though, it's it's a beautiful card. I mean, all, all the Venusaur cards are beautiful. I uh, You know, I didn't add it. Crystal Guardian's Holographic Venusaur with the stamp is, one of the, is a beautiful card as well that I... I was very tempted on adding that instead of uh, one of the others that were on that like final four list uh, that didn't make the cut. But you know there there are a lot of other great artwork for Venusaur. Like there there is so much out there, and and Venusaur even came into you know Sword and Shield, not as much as he's even in the Charizard all art card, uh, which is one of the reasons why it was one of my biggest chases in the Sword and Shield era, because uh, that brilliant stars. Charizard was phenomenal. It had Venusaur in a battle with Charizard, and then it has the post cut scene basically uh, in the Charizard or the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection box that came out at the end of last year, uh, or sometime before the holiday actually last year. So it was really cool. I'm glad they they kind of tied into that. Uh, I think it would. Uh, I don't know. They did a good job with it. I'm happy that uh, you guys watched this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. Celebrations is always a fun thing to open. Venusaur is always a fun subject to talk about. Uh, let me know what your first ever Pokemon was. It doesn't matter if it was Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, whatever generation you came into Pokemon. What was your starter and what is your favorite evolution? Is it from, from the starters of all time? Venusaur is definitely my number one favorite starter evolution of all time. Debatable on Magikarp and Venusaur for my favorite Pokemon of all time, but uh, you know I, I love I love him. He's a big chubby bulky boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys on the next one. Please do me a big favor, uh, leave a thumbs up if you could, leave a comment. Like I said, tell me what your favorite evolution for a you know starter Pokemon is, and also if you could tell somebody something nice, it could be the only nice thing they hear all day, all month, all night. Mental health awareness is incredibly important, and if you could. Click on either the left or the right video here. It could be some more content that you like, and there will always be positive vibes. Until the next time, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I love you guys. Thank you.